The easiest way to publish your blog post to Facebook is by using a plugin like Uncanny Automator. Uncanny Automator does some amazing workflows where you can post things anywhere from your WordPress website to things like Twitter or Facebook, Slack, and so much more. We'll also be using their free version, but know that the pro version has many more features with it. So let's head over to plugins, add new, and we're searching for Uncanny Automator. This is the one we want, so let's go ahead and install it now. Make sure you also stick around to activate the plugin as well. Great, once it is activated, we can head over to Automator and we'll go to Dashboard. From here, you see you have a lot of information to help you get started. One of the things it wants to do is for you to connect your site for the free version and you'll get some credits for it. So let's go ahead and click on Connect Site. You wanna enter your information. Once you enter that information, we can head over to Settings and now you see all of these integrations that you can connect to. And from here, we now have a tab for Facebook. Now we need to connect our Facebook page. It'll go out and it'll connect with your Facebook profile. You can continue, choose what business accounts you want to associate this with and click next. Now you have to give Uncanny Automator permission to do certain things with your Facebook and Instagram since they are owned by the same company. And once you do that, you'll want to make sure that you allow Uncanny Automator to at least show these bottom three toggles. Now, once you're finished with everything, we can click done and now we are good to go. So now it will take us back to our WordPress dashboard. Okay, now we can create the automation workflow of posting from a blog post to Facebook and these are called recipes. So from the left, we want to click on add new. From here, we want to select the logged in user and we can give it a title and we can select the integration. So with this, we want to do WordPress. The trigger that we're looking for, we can start typing it. We're looking for publish. So if it publishes a type of post in any taxonomy, you can choose to get this granular, but basically we're looking for, the main thing that we're looking for is the post type. So let's go ahead and click save. And you see now this one is live, which is cool. We've created the trigger. So meaning anytime a blog post is published, this is going to trigger it. Now we need to give it an action, tell it what it needs to do. So let's go ahead and click add action. And now we want to showcase what do we want to do with it? So we want to send it to Facebook. So let's go ahead and click on that. And you see the drop downs that are coming here. We want to pu publish a post to Facebook. So we'll do that. You notice here, you could also just share a link to the message of a Facebook page, or even just share a photo if you want to change it up a little. And then you can add a message here. And this message will show up on all items. Okay, once we've typed that out, let's go ahead and click enter to start a new line because we need to add the post link and the title. And then let's click on the asterisk. And for this one, we want to pick this one. And from here, these are all of the items that you can showcase. So what we want to do is we want to do the post title. So the post title will automatically come in there. And then we'll also want to add the URL. So you can choose to either do it on a new line. I'm going to do a new line, do the asterisk again, come down here, trigger. And the other thing we're looking for is the post URL. Great. So that looks good and that is all we need. So let's go ahead and click save. Great, once both of these are live, then you'll want to do one final thing and you want to switch this over from draft to live as well. And now anytime a post is published on your site, then this will go to that Facebook page. And if you're wanting to also post to Twitter, check out this video as I walk you through step-by-step -step on how to automatically publish posts to your Twitter account. And I'll see you over there.